All right, it's time for another one of those horrible unboxing videos of the hacker boxes. I just love diving into these things because they are always so much fun. The folks at Hackerbox really have it going. So let's see what we got. What? Connect everything. Huh. You're kidding me. Do we have like some sort of biological sensors now? ESP32 dev kit. Now that looks nice. An ESP32. Now there, I've been playing around with the, um, uh, the uh, 66 of the ESP, but this might be a new version of the chip. Um, okay. We will have to dive into this and find out what all of, oh, yeah, these things are, are super cool. These little LEDs, uh, LCDs, um, they're cheap, they're, um, they, they're a nice little display, um, OLED, uh, organic uh, LEDs, but um, a very nice little display, SPI interface, um, you only need four pins. Uh, including power and ground. So you've got a uh, serial data and a serial clock. And so it's easy interface to these things. So you can put a nice little display on there. Connect everything. This intrigues me. It gives you a bunch of different... I wonder if there's a, a sensor chip for taking weights. What do we have here? Okay. Uh, we have a breakout for a... A micro or a headphone jack. Can't imagine what we're going to do with that. Oh yeah, now yeah. you can't have too many of these micro USB cables because the cats keep eating mine. I don't know about your guys. Um, ah, keypad, keypad, some jumpers, sure. Oh, NeoPixels. Hmm. What the heck are we going to do with this? Chewable coffee? <laughs> Two cups per pack. I'll have to be careful with those. And... Espressif. Ah, I get it now. Espressif. Uh, espresso. Coffee. Um, it's a bit of a stretch. But... Uh, yeah, some stickers, some espresso coupons or uh, stickers, a keypad, headphone jack, a display, a bunch of a um, a uh, a uh, keypad, break up for a keypad, and this little puppy here, which is our okay. There's our antenna. This is our ESP with what the heck else could be on this thing? A dev kit. So we've got some serial data pins here. We've got 3.3 SVP, SVN, ground, IO, like lots of IO pins. Oh my goodness gracious. What can't you do with this thing? That's amazing. ESP32 core board, lead free, made by some third party. What are these chips on here though? Are they just to, uh, that might just be for the USB. That's a voltage regulator of some sort, I'm guessing. Um, I'm reading it upside down. Uh, it's pretty well labeled. Let me give you a better look at it here. So, yeah, this, this thing here is some sort of voltage regulator. That is probably the um, USB interface. So really what all of this circuitry here is, is the interface to our USB and the brains of the operation are right here. And so this is just a breakout for this little module. Now it's got some venting there. I'm not sure why it's got venting, but um, we will have to do some Googling onto the Googler 
and find out what the heck is going on here. But uh, looks like fun. What? Holy smokes. Okay, so Espresso have introduced a new chip. The, uh, the ESP8266 was a, um, a Wi-Fi chip that was um, a pretty cool little device. It had a AT command set that you could control so you, to, to control various functions on the chip. You could uh, use it as a, um, a serial to Wi-Fi converter. But also it had some, some memory in it and it had a microprocessor itself and you could do some programming in it. Some people have been developing an Arduino um, a, a integration so that it integrates with the Arduino IDE and so I've been doing some programming on that. Now, the, Espresso, the folks at Espresso have come up with a new version of this chip um, that includes not only Wi-Fi, but it's a dual core, it's faster processor, and it has Bluetooth, if you can believe it. And so it's like um, they have just amped up the, and lots more I.O. as well. Uh, the 8266, I think, had at most um, 16 GPIO pins, and not all of them and all of the various modules that you can get were exposed, so you had limited I.O. that you could do with it. Well, limited 16 pins of general purpose I.O. That's not too bad, but I mean, look at this thing. I mean, it's got, oh man, what is that? Oh, it's, it's getting on there for like a, like a Raspberry Pi in terms of the number of GPIO pins you've got available to you, and then some of them are serial and well, of course, there's some ground and power that has to go in here, but it's like, man, there's like analog and, and digital. We've got probably SPI on here. There's probably ICE. Well, on the, on the original 8266, there was um, SPI, ITC. There was, um, well, obviously normal serial because it would communicate over um, a serial bus to get its commands. And then you had, it, it could be a Wi-Fi server as well as a Wi-Fi client, et cetera, et cetera. So I think... Okay, these guys have just amped up the game a lot. And if I remember, like the ESP8266s were dirt cheap. So I'm just going to check how much um, those things cost um, to buy one-offs. They're probably not very expensive. The ESP8266s uh, the were like a dollar. Oh my word, these things are like gold. They are $7 on eBay compared to like the, the buck fifty that the... Uh, 8266s were <laughs> gold, he says, um, and they're and they're a little tricky to get a hold of because uh, there's some places that are sold out. But um, in any event, um, well, still seven bucks for a uh, Arduino-like chip that includes both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. No modules to add to the chip in order to get Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, and um, I haven't checked the, um, the uh, ESP8266 Arduino um, website yet, but um, I am sure there are people that are hacking around with these on there and that they've got support for, the, for these things in the Arduino IDE, but we'll just make sure. In any event, wow, um, that is going to be a fun little thing to hack around with. My God, think about that. You could put so much processing horsepower in absolutely nowhere and get at it over the internet with and we just have to find out how much power they consume and see what kind of power requirements they've got but uh really it seems like a pretty cool chip right off the uh right off the start okay so for the people that really uh dig the numbers um compared to an arduino uno this thing is dual core and compared to single core but the processor speed of this instead of 16 megahertz it's 160 megahertz so it's 10 times faster than an arduino 32-bit architecture so you get um much better uh, well much bigger um address space for and the folks at espresso have also come up with a uh, uh ide for for doing development on this thing yourself uh, so you don't need any, anything else like an Arduino ID or, or, or stuff to, to work on it. So, um, wow, uh, the uh, folks at HackerBox have really dropped a, an awesome little um, toy on top of us. Now, having said that, 
there's not a lot of information out about these things yet. So um, we'll just have to do uh, some poking around ourselves, come up with some example use cases, perhaps um, post them off onto the interwebs and see what um, other people are doing with these little units. But oh man, it's like, uh, what a time to be alive. Oh man, it just keeps getting better and better. There is an implementation of Python for this thing. So if you write Python um, code, you can just upload Python scripts to this thing and get it to run. You don't even have to learn anything like C. Oh man. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I wonder what... This display is too small to make an oscilloscope out of, but um, there are bigger displays that are available. I wonder what the um, specifications on the ADC pins are. Huh.